Good morning. We got a quick project for you today. Look what I received in the mail, uh, not in the mail, yesterday. This package freight arrived. This is a, a set of 12 solar panels that I'm going to be adding onto my system. This is uh, 12 solar panels, 390 watts, and um, that makes up a total of four kilowatt. This is, I'm gonna be adding this into my 16 kilowatt system. Let me open this up. When I originally set up my system, I didn't think I was going to be adding any more solar panels. But obviously, I'm having to now because I feel there is a need. It's been raining early this morning, which I think is a good thing because yesterday it was 100 degrees out and it was very hot and I, it's actually going to be like 97 today so <clears throat> I figured out I'll come earlier and do some work before the sun comes up and it gets so hot to be on the roof I see the clouds are still up so that's a good thing I'm going to have a few minutes to work so this is my original you're looking at my original solar arrays. I have a series of eight on this side of the roof. I have a, a series of eight here. And uh, this is this row has 16. Two eight series uh, connected together. And I have a series of eight on this upper side of the roof and another series of eight on this um, side of the roof now this is quite a huge um, system it's quite a huge system but I'm finding that it's not enough to provide for the needs of our off-grid um, property so for example yesterday we generated 85 kilowatt hours of energy from this system but you see we have an 80 kilowatt um, battery bank so if you're generating 80 kilowatts in a day and you have a battery bank of 80 that means you can only charge um, the, the battery bank once. But as I said, yesterday was very hot. And um, so the AC was on all day. And the AC by itself consumes 6,000 watts an hour. So if it was running for 12 hours, you can imagine how much that is. That is like almost more than half of the energy that we generated yesterday it went onto the onto the AC just by itself and of course running other loads in the house that cuts up on the amount of energy we generated and in the future I need to be able to charge an electric car so in order to mount this solar panels onto my roof I, I originally I used this uh, tamarack tamarack uh, roof racking system and they basically send you everything in a box they come uh, in sets that you can use for four panels eight panels or 12 panels now since I had I have 12 panels to do I got a box that contains everything that you need for the roof except for the bolts 
Um, so in order to mount this uh, L bracket roofing bracket onto the roof, the first thing should be to first find um, find the middle of a rafter and afterwards you just measure is they are placed 24 inches apart so you just measure 24 inches apart and boom nail nail one in 24 inches apart nail one in so as you can see I've already I've already nailed this one now I'm just gonna measure 24 I'm, I'm actually doing them 48 inches apart so I'm just gonna measure 48 inches to my right and then that will be the point for me to nail in the neck now that all the brackets are up and in the roof where they need to be it's time now for me to go ahead and uh, tie in the rails and let me see if I can get this camera to work so basically you get the rail, you line it up where you want it. And this rail goes into that bracket like that. And each rail needs to be tied in two different parts. So this one, I'm gonna line it up, uh, screw it in a little bit. And then I got my wrench. Send. I'm gonna move. You can see I have uh, put all the rails for all 12 solar panels up on the roof, and um, so there's gonna be two rows of solar panels one at the bottom and one at the top. And since I'm a one man show here. How do I get my solar panels from down here up to the roof? See, nobody's here to help me. <laughs> so I gotta come up with uh, a few ideas, as my daughter will say. Good idea. All right, so I have two ladders. One to climb up to the roof, and this short one, I put a solar panel on it, and lean it against the roof, the the, uh, the roof. Lean it against the roof. Okay. And then go up on this ladder. Go up to the roof and voila! As soon as I'm up here, my solar panel is right there waiting for me. Now all I need to do is to just pull these up. And there we go, I have it. Up on the roof. First solar panel up on the on the rails. Um now I'm just holding it gently with clamps on the other side. First thing I'm gonna do is tie it from this end. This end, it has this end clamp, looks like that. And then it goes underneath the rail, underneath the outside of the solar panel and then it ties it in down once you screw it in. And I'll show you that. So I'm gonna put one over there and uh, I put another one. Got my second uh, solar panel next to it. First thing is to make sure I tie these two in series before I completely tie it down or otherwise it's not gonna be working. So I'm gonna reach down here move these out a little bit and get this cable and this cable and put them together that's done 
Now, move it next to the other. Make sure they are the same height. You go up at the top and push it. Make sure that these two are Now, move the next middle clump, and then now I can go ahead and tie this middle clump down. Do the same with the lower. There it is. Make sure this panel is in all the way. Take my wrench. all tight two panels up ten more to go hours later I am done it's been a lot of work it's hot out here it's been heavy work to put these 12 panels up here on a very steepy side of the roof uh, this is uh, facing west I am finally done and ready to get it all connected <clears throat> all connected in series and they are all going to be going directly into the inverter as one channel <clears throat> now right here I have my positive end of the channel and I have the negative end of the channel that is going to go into the house. Now here is the cable coming straight from the house. Positive, I mean negative, and positive. I'm going to connect these two, and then I have the positive end from the solar panel series, the negative end from the solar panel series. Going to get this all connected and ready to roll there we go all the work is done now these two wires they are going inside directly into my into one of my um my inverters and they just go through here and then they go under these solar panels and then go through the roof into the attic and down into my basement it's not very clean yet um, I'm yet to make sure that it's gonna work and then I'm going to get a conduit so that I can put these two cables in conduit over on top of the shingles I don't all right, I'm back down in the basement. I have these two inverters. Uh, these, they can take up to four channels each uh, of series. Now this one already has full, um, has three channels and this one has two channels. So the one that I just did, is gonna go into this, um, into this inverter. Now it is uh, two o'clock and this inverter right now it is it's hooked right now it's hooked onto 16 16 panels and right now it's generating 
3500 watts this one is hooked into 24 panels and it's generating 5200 watts now when I connect the two the two wires that are coming in right now this one is gonna have 16 plus 12 that is 28 panels so this one is going to be making more power than that one just wanted to show you inside the inverter so this is um, inside one of the inverters these inverters have three channels so you don't need a combiner box uh, to use this inverter you can just put straight the wires the PV wires straight into the inverter without needing a combiner box now each of this channel can take up to 12 solar panels in series so this one has eight in series there's a B and C a has eight in series B has eight in series now I'm going to put this is the C that I just put in C is gonna have 12 panels so there's there's three channels and so that's the DC coming in into the inverter and then AC coming out right here there is a line one line two and a neutral and over here this is actually a grid tie inverter so you because I'm off grid right now so it doesn't matter but if you were on the grid and the grid you know goes off this inverter stops making power but this can still give you a little bit of power while the, the grid is not available but once the grid is available then this inverter starts making power so I'm all connected this is my new series that it went into channel C so here we go inside my DC disconnect switch uh, this switch only has three poles and I have four channels coming in so I needed an extra channel so I I put this this is going to be the disconnect switch for the new um, series that I just put in um, let me see turn it on and see how this is gonna work Here we go. The inverter is thinking. It's opening up the relays. You can hear it now opening the relays. Because it's a grid tied inverter. Once you disconnect the solar panel, you closes the relays and once you connect it it opens up so you can start generating power and you can hear those clicks here we go the solar panels that I just put in just now that is just this uh, the channel that I just put in and it is generating 2284 watts 2284 watts Never mind that uh, it is this right now I think it's a little bit cloudy outside it should be 2250 watts right now all right I'm gonna turn on the rest of the P the the rest of the channels. And we'll see how much we make. Mm -hmm. All right. Now this inverter now is generating seven thousand. 
7,300. So that is all two previous channels that were in there already and the last one that I just connected. 7,400, 7,400. 7,500 and 40. Looks like the clouds just went away. 7,000. It's a little blurry. 7,000. Seven thousand five hundred and fifty-five. Let's see. Now, this one, this is the one that had twenty-four panels in it. This one is generating seven. So this one is generating seventy-six sixteen. Seventy-six sixteen. Seventy-six sixteen. Wow. Both of them, 7,620. 7,616. That is for a total of 15,000, let me see, 15,200. 15,200. So my two inverters right now, they are generating 15,200 watts that is a lot of power I think that's gonna be enough power now for us to be comfortable in our off-grid home to have a to be able to charge electric vehicles All right this is not even peak hours this inverter can produce generate a maximum of 8,000 watts and this one um, also 8,000 watts. So for a total of 16,000 watts, right now they are both generating 15,000 15, watts. Thank you very much. That was a, a short addition to what we had already and uh, looks that they are working just great thank you very much if you find this video helpful please like and subscribe and uh going to be having more videos coming out um about our system this is the rest of the system i just don't have time to go over everything once again this thank you very much